So now we're going to move on to the tail boom assembly uh, for the tail drive system. Um, the, uh, this is the boom mount here. Uh, this is uh, about as far as you're going to want to take it apart. You're not going to try to remove this uh, gear at all uh, because there's uh, bearings in there and everything. But this is the gear that actually drives the torque tube. So you're going to want to you're going to want to spin it and make sure it spins freely, which in this case it does. So that's all good. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to check check uh, and make sure that this side is the side that. Uh, will be having the vertical stabilizer and uh, it's keyed the boom is keyed so that uh, there's a little hole here and this hole uh, lines up with a little tab that comes from this plastic piece and so you're going to want to make sure that the hole and the plastic piece are on the uh, if you're looking at the heli so looking at the heli like this this piece is on the right side and that way you have the tail blades coming off here and spinning properly up into the downwash so uh, in order to, to do that we need to first mount the side that has the the drive gear uh, and uh, the, the tail shaft so this goes on first so you go ahead and line it up get a couple screws with thread lock on them then go ahead and put it on loosely you're not going to want to tighten these down yet so let me go ahead and get these now you gotta be careful when handling this when you're, when you're putting thread lock on you don't want to get thread lock on the uh, on the shaft that would be bad it can add, it create some stickiness in your tail so once we've got that on, we can put the other side on. And so you just basically slide it over the over the shaft. Everything's nice and then it just kind of clicks in place. Uh, if you've got this side on, kind of click in there. And everything's good. So now we'll go ahead and put some thread lock on the rest of the screws and we'll get this finished up. Now, what you're gonna wanna do slide the uh, tail pitch slider now you're gonna want to make sure that these guys are nice and loose in both and uh, I've already pulled these and thread locked them and I did check to make sure that the, uh, the bushing is nice and tight in there uh, and then you just slide it on like so make sure it's nice and smooth which it is um, so once you've got that on, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to put uh, the tail pitch uh, control arm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little bit of thread lock on here. I didn't find much thread lock on this screw when uh, when it was uh, when I was pulling it off the heli earlier. This is the regular line driver. So make sure it's in there pretty good. There we go. Make sure that you don't torque this down too much. You want it to be nice and smooth. But you don't want it to be too loose. So there we go. That's good. Not moving at all. It's nice and smooth. Now we're going to put the blade grips on. So you got your spot for the uh, grub screw. Now there's a uh, there's a groove in the in the shaft, and that's where you're gonna want your grub screw to go. So you go ahead and slide it on until you find that spot, which is right there. And then I'm gonna grab the grub screw here. Uh, this is the one that uses the screw there. I knew there was one in here that used that. Now I did not find any thread lock whatsoever on this grub screw. Not uh, definitely something to be looking for. And let's go ahead and torque down. That grub screw. And we're almost done with the tail slider here. Now this is uh, 
the leading edge control. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the tail blade grips are like so. So you want the, uh, the control arm to be before, as the, as the head spinning, because the tail's gonna spin this way. You want the blade grip uh, end that is controlled to the, uh, tied to the pitch control slider to come before there we go. Make sure it's not too tight, but tight enough that it's not gonna. There we go. Now we'll do the other side. And this completes the tail assembly. When you're done, everything should move nice and freely. Shouldn't be uh, any real play in it at all, which there's not. Very good. And that completes the tail assembly. I guess I'll be editing a lot of it.